Okay, 5.2, Journal for Algebra 1, Part 2. Uh, some tough problems on this page. If you can get them, you're doing good. So let's take a run through this one here and see what we can do. I'm going to look at number 12 here uh, first. So these on the first page, we don't have an x equals, a y equals, an equals x, an equals y. So we got to set this up. On 13, I'm going to look at the second problem because this y looks like the simplest thing I have there. So minus 4x, minus 4x. Negative y equals negative 4x plus 4. Divide by negative 1. y equals 4x minus 4. So I'm going to use this top equation now, the other one that I didn't solve, 3x minus 2 times y, but instead of y, I've got my parentheses going in, equals 3. See, so that's your 3x minus 2y equals 3. And what do we have going in here? And then in here, we're just going to put our 4x minus 4. Distribute. Remember, you're distributing a negative, so that's minus 8x plus 8 equals 3. Negative 5x plus 8 equals 3 minus 8. Negative 5x equals negative 5. Divide by negative 5. x equals 1. I'm going to plug that back into one of my equations. So that's going to come back up here. Uh, I'm liking the one on the bottom a little bit easier. So that's going to be 4x. Not 4x. Let's do 4 times 1 minus y equals 4. 4 minus y equals 4 minus 4 minus 4. Negative y equals 0. I don't really have to do this step. You know it's going to come out to 0. So that gives me 1, 0 for my point. Uh, I'm going to check it this time. So let's check it with the 3x minus 2y equals 3. That's my x and y, of course. 3 times 1 minus 2 times 0 equals 3. 3 minus 0 equals 3. 3 equals 3. That checks out. Let's check it with the 4x minus y equals 4. 4 times 1 minus, whoops, not y, minus 0 should equal 4. That's 4 minus 0 equals 4. I can't write. So 4 equals 4. It checks out. That looks like a good solution. I can also see it up here in my scrambled answers there. So you're going to have to do something like that on number 10, number 13, Uh, number 17. 16, you've already got a y equal, so you're a little luckier there. Okay. Let's do number 14. This is the same thing you're going to do on number 11 as I do with 14 here. Now, these are both equal to y. Both this both equal to y and that. Since they're both equal to y, they're equal to each other. So you're going to have, you know, you're basically just taking this and putting it in there. So I'm going to have 1 third x minus 8 equals 3 fifths x minus 12. Now, there's a couple of different ways to do this problem. Uh, there's not a lot of fun with it. 
but uh, I'm looking here and I'm going to get rid of the fractions. That's the technique I'm going to use here. Uh, you got to do some multiplication. There's no real simple way of doing this one. I'm going to get rid of the fractions. So we've got one third and five. Our least common denominator, which is our least common multiple of a three and five is 15. So I'm going to multiply everything here by 15. Okay. So if I were to write this out, it'd be 15 times one third X. I got to write bigger. 15 times one third X minus 15 times eight equals 15 times three fifths X minus 15 times 12. Reduce, reduce, that goes to five and one. So we have five X minus 120. The 15 and the five cancel to one and three. That's nine X, 15 times 12. I can't think of that really quick. 180 minus 180. And we've gotten rid of, and you might have to, I'm noticing you might have to use some scratch paper to finish some of these up, don't worry. Yep, I got that one right. And then just finish it off, minus 5x, minus 5x. Uh, I got to come up over here, negative 120 equals 4x minus 180, plus 180, plus 180, 60 equals 4x, divide by 4, and I get 15 is equal to x. I'm going to plug that in. Uh, and again, I've, I'm obviously running out, using up extra space here. You're going to need some scratch paper. Don't worry about that. I'm going to use the bottom one. Y equals one third X minus eight. I'm going to put in my 15. That's Y equals one third times 15 minus eight. Three and 15 reduced to one and five. So that's five minus eight or y equals negative 3. So I get 15 and negative 3 for an answer. And, of oh, cool. I thought I made another mistake. There it is. We're looking good on that. Okay. Uh, I wanted to do 15 here, too. Uh, let me look at it. You know what, kiddos? We're going to skip numbers 15 and 18. 15 is this one right here. 18 is this one right here. So those answers are kind of coming off for the check in your answers. Uh, I've worked 15 in green here. I can see it coming out a little bit here. 26 over 3y equals, this is going to be 21 over 3 plus 5. That's going to be equals 26 over 3. But there's just way too much complication. The rest of these don't work out too bad. Uh, but 15 and 18, let's just forget those. down here in number 19. Uh, A equals the cost of an adult ticket. C equals the cost of a children's ticket, child's ticket. An adult ticket to the museum costs three more than the children's ticket. When 200 adult tickets and 100 children's tickets are sold, the revenue is $2,100. What is the cost of 
a uh, children's ticket okay so look right here an adult's tickets to the museum cost three more bucks than the children's ticket write an equation to represent that a the adults ticket equals C the children's tickets plus what yep you got that plus three okay and then we've got 200 adults so that's the cost of it so if you take the number of tickets time you know times the cost that gives you how much money we got so 200 that's our number of tickets we have to multiply that times the cost well the 200 is adult tickets sold so that's going to be 200 times a the 100 is the children's tickets so that's going to be 100 times c now you can do your substitution right there a equals c plus three take out a put in c plus three solve it just like we did on some of those other ones and you can get your answer what is the cost of a child's ticket that's c you should be able to get c we got it up there you can figure out which answer it's supposed to be in your scrambled answers and that's going to end this one for us so hopefully i remember to tell you in class to skip numbers 15 and 18 and i should do this Let's go up to the one I would print out for students. Uh, just come down here. This is our page. There we are. 15. That's not what we want. 15. 18 we're going to take off. 11 and 14 have some tricks to them, but you can bust out those fractions pretty easy. That's it. Aloha. Have a good night. It's late. I'm going to bed.